this is Soft Kitty 99 and welcome to a new World of Warcraft video. So, let's choose which ally I to pursue. There will be a new future for the Horde. Let's do the High Mountain Tauren. The Tauren tribes of High Mountain united to drive the Burning Legion from their lands. Bane Bloodhoof believes their strength and nobility would be a boon to the might of the Horde. Serve me well, and you will be rewarded. The fate of Azeroth rests in your hands. Looking good, Bane. That's a very nice new model. A feast for our kin. We have planned a great feast to welcome the High Mountain Tauren to Thunderbluff. It will be their first visit to the lands of Kalimdor. I have been exchanging missives with their chieftain. I look forward to meeting her. Will you join us in Mulgar? It would be good for them to see a familiar face that aided their fight against the Legion. Meet Bane Bloodhoof at Thunderbluff in Mulgar. Chief in Bloodhoof, have our champion join you for your feast in Thunderbluff. By the time dessert is served, I want their oath of loyalty to the Horde. It shall be so, War Chief. This way. And I'll see you when we get to Thunderbluff. Here we are in Thunder Totem. There's Bane, and there's Mela. I am Bane, High Chieftain of the Tauren. Welcome, Chantico. Mela speaks of you as a trusted ally. Your presence will surely help convince her of the merits of joining the Horde. Thank you for coming, Mela. It is my honor to welcome you to Mulgor. Your invitation was most kind, Bane. It is time for our two peoples to renew our bonds of kinship. It is of kinship that I wish to speak. I hope that... Spirit Walker? I should never have left the mountain. The wards have weakened. He will be ours. Ebenhorn, what dark force grips you? I know this power all too well. Champion, we need your help. We must unite if we are to survive. Shadow over Thunderbluff. A dark force has descended upon us. I refuse to believe that the High Mountain are behind it. The cacophony out there is disturbingly familiar. Could it be? No, the minions of the old gods are attacking. We must fight for Thunderbluff. Slay four dark tendrils and twelve shadows of Ul in Thunderbluff. The war with the Legion has come. There is much we I can learn from the High Mountain tribes. And instead of a feast, we have to fight. What a surprise. <laughs> we will drive your shadow from Mulgore. Thunder Bluff will be free of you! Thunder Bluff will be free of you! Yes, Thunder Bluff will be free of them, Bane.
to the void that spawned you! <laughs> it feels good to swing my mace again! I need to target something first! Oh, that's 12 of those and it's quite dark here where are these tentacles ah there was one Three. We will drive your shadow from Mulgore. I just need one more. There's one. This should complete this. Gods are known for subversion and duplicity. To attack us so brazenly, whatever they seek, they want it badly. Dark forces. The old gods have inflicted one of their faceless ones upon Thunderbluff. The fiend desecrates my people's city. We must fight together to rid we this place of such filth. I believe that destroying this herald will drive our enemies from Mulgor. May our weapons strike true, Chantico. Defeat. Telek, Herald of Ooh, For the Herald. Now, where would the Herald be? He appears to be down the bottom. So, down there to the lower level. There is much we can learn from the High Mountain tribes. Nope. Okay, so where is he? Ah, all the way down. <laughs> it feels good to swing my mace again! What the heck is this hell? Okay, okay, I'll fight you, I'll fight you! <laughs> Bane certainly appears to be enjoying himself with this fight. Okay, they don't want me to get out of combat here. Falls. Ah, and there's the guy we want, Kitelek. Uh, another unpronounceable name. <laughs> I 
don't know about the rest of you, but I'm quite enjo quite looking forward to the idea of the old gods being part of this expansion. So the fact that they're showing up here at the beginning is very good news for me because that suggests that we really are going to get the old gods this time. We must unite. A fine kill, Chantico. My people can clean up from here. Return to High Mountain. Spirit Walker Ebonhorn remains in great danger. He and Mela have returned to High Mountain, but I believe they still need your aid, uh, still need our aid. Let us journey to Thunder Totem and do whatever we can to mend Ebonhorn. Perhaps our deeds will strengthen the bond between our peoples. Meet Mela High Mountain at Thunder Totem in High Mountain. And I will see you once we get to High Mountain. Here we are in Thunder Totem. Let's talk to Mela. We shall reclaim the hammer and our lands. Return to High Mountain. Ebonhorn has spoken of ancient wards that must be maintained in High Mountain. Wards that hold back a great darkness. This may be tied to the evil that grips him now. We must hope that Spirit Walker Grey Sky can tell us more. Together, we are High Mountain. The river provides. Dark Tales. Spirit Walker Ebonhorn is stable. For now. He once told me of the wards he maintains against the old gods. He placed them at key locations around this mountain, but kept them hidden from mortal eyes, even my own. Incapacitated like this, his wards cannot hold back the evil ones. No doubt this is the reason for their attack. To find the wards, we must enter the echoes of Ebonhorn's past and commune with the spirits we find there. Meet me in Riverbend, Chantico. It is there our search begins. Meet Spirit Walker Grey Sky in Riverbend. I do not fear the deep places of the earth. I'll see you in Riverbend. Bones! We defend High Mountain. The spirits hold many truths, Chantico. Walking in their footsteps may reveal the locations of Ebonhorn's wards. Walking in their footsteps. Spirit walkers maintain balance between the world of the living and the spirit realm. We can travel into the memories of the dead to glean clues about the past. The wards Ebonhorn maintained were placed long ago by heroes Don't who fought the darkness. The by walking in their footsteps, we may locate the wards and restore them. Igrul, the drog bar known as the Scalebane, was a true friend to Horn High Mountain. Used the water of vision to enter his memories and find where he placed the first ward. Together, we are High Mountain. Ooh, what have we got here? Landslide. Slams the ground, causing granite spikes to erupt from the ground in a line, inflicting nature damage and knocking back enemies nearby. Rockfall. Leap to the target location, inflicting nature damage to enemies at the target location. We need to kill eight shadow lurkers and fifteen shadows of... Ooh. Hmm. Where do we need to go? Aha. Oh, that's quite cool. You just need to jump on their head and that kills killed that guy instantly. Oh now that's quite a fun little quest. Oh I like that. Oh, that's quite nice. Definitely keeps it interesting having little fun quests like this. guys are that 
foggy bog bottoms. It's shadowy foggy bog bottoms. nice reuse of lots of uh, very familiar places and models for uh, to give us a nice little fun quest. I like it. More of the little guys. Oh, we've got all the players in here. players all in one place. We've run out of mobs. <laughs> Serve your true bastard. Right, that's all of them, so... Your defiance means death. I think they want us to go up in the cavern. That looks like I'm out going in the right direction. I need to play some wood. There we go, that's that ward completed. I'm pleased you were able to place the first ward. We are one step closer to saving Ebonhorn. But this mention of the darkness is unsettling. It is a monster spoken of in our myths and folklore. Tales told around the campfire to spook the young. Could these stories be based in truth? Shadow of the Sepulchre Ebonhorn spoke of another ward safeguarding the lands of the Skyhorn tribe. Somewhere close to the sepulchre of the sky, he said. It was there that this darkness once manifested. Meet me there, Chantico. I will show you how to walk in the memories of a great Skyhorn hero. Meet Spirit Walker Grey Sky in the sepulchre of the sky. And I'll see you I'll once I get there. Here we are at the sepulchre of the sky behind Skyhorn. Remain vigilant. The next ward is nearby, I can sense it. Minions of the Darkness. Onaya Skyhorn was a legendary chieftain of her tribe. Though she crossed over to the spirit realm long ago, her presence is still felt all around us. Ebonhorn told me that Anea placed a ward here to protect the people she cared for so deeply, perhaps from the spectre of the darkness. Use the water of vision to journey into her echoes. Worry not that this ritual might disturb her rest. A hero like Anea would relish a chance to aid us in the present. Use the water of visions to walk in the memory of Anaya Skyhorn. May your rivers be ever bountiful. Fury of the Phoenix. Oh, hey, it's Foggy Bell Bottoms again. Fire an arrow at the target. And Cyclone Vortex summons Cyclones to dispatch your enemies. Oh, and they've recolored the enemies. Very nice. Oh, I like that. Whirling Vortexes. I like that. Whee! Go get them, Mr. Wind. Target. 
Well, this is a really imaginative set of quests. I like it. Six shadowy tendrils. That looks like that's inside the cave. Oh, yes. that definitely looks old goddy. <laughs> Last one. And let us venture into the caves. And a big foggy bog bottom, the shadow of the darkness. Oh, now that guy's got a lot of health. the ward and that should finish this little section we defend this world together the shadows of the spirit realm grow stronger I fear they may soon pierce the veil into our reality I pray restoring the worlds will set things right Horns Mountain we have made progress reactivating the wards, but more must be done. I sense Ebonhorn's struggle. Though he fights with all his strength, he is slipping away. Should this darkness emerge into our realm, I fear our friend will be lost. Ebonhorn spoke of another ward somewhere within Shadowblind Mesa. Meet me there so that I might guide you along another journey into the memories of the past. Meet Spiritwalker Greysky at Snowblind Mesa. And I will see Ride you the winds. once we arrive there. Do you sense it, Chantico? Such strength, such courage. The echo of Horn High Mountain spirit is all around us. Servants of the darkness. The heroes of High Mountain's past placed wards to protect our land from the insidious old gods. The deeds of these noble champions kept us safe for thousands of years. We must not fail their memory. Horn High Mountain himself placed the ward here at Snowblind Mesa. It must be reactivated for us to have any hope of saving Ebonhorn. Enter the Echo of Horn's spirit and let his courage lead you to the location of this ward. Use the Water of Vision to walk in the memories of Horn High Mountain. Wild Carve, Harpoon Stomp, Gore Charge. These are the same abilities that we had in the uh, scenario with Horn during the uh, levelling quests. I need to kill ten Necro Dark Defilers.
charge. Necrog the Dark Speaker. like charging around. <laughs> the Legion was nothing compared to our power. Surrender! We will never surrender! <laughs> Award. Horn, the Battle of the Necro Dark? There are so many tall tales attributed to Horn that I assumed those drug bar to be just another story, but it is clear they served the darkness. A troubling discovery, but there is no time to dwell on it now. How fares Ebonhorn? Three of the ancient wards are restored. The mountain is not yet secure, but we may have done enough to break Ebonhorn free of the shadows gripping him. Let us return to Thunder Totem and see how he fares. Hopefully Ebonhorn can tell us more about what is happening with the Necro Dark and the insidious master they serve. Return to Thunder Totem and check on Ebonhorn. I'll see you once we get there. <sighs> the whispers. They have stopped. Thank you, champion. Grey Sky. And we're back in Thunder Totem. And Spirit Walk Albenhorn's looking very good. I am now myself again. You and Grey Sky have freed me from the grasp of the old gods. Had I remained in that state for much longer, I would have been lost. I am Mela. I stand as High Chieftain. Curse of the Necrodark. It is clear that the old gods have long sought to control High Mountain. Their covetous desire speaks to the power of this land and the strength of the spirits that echo through its peaks and valleys. They will not take our sacred mountain, Chantico, not while I draw breath. With the High Mountain tribes united and with Bane Bloodhoof at our side, we will defeat the darkness once and for all. Come, let us take back the summit from the forces that would corrupt it. Journey to High Mountain Summit. High Mountain Long stands. Long ago, the old gods sought to claim High Mountain. Their campaign was led by a terrible creature of nightmare. Ulganeth the Darkness. Hull gathered heroes from among the tribes. They fought against Ulganeth's servants, the Necrodark. But the forces of Shadow were too great to overcome. So Hull devised another plan. Wards were placed to lock away the Old God's influence. Though the general survived, Ulganeth's essence was trapped. All this time, the Necrodark have been lurking in the shadows, waiting to call forth their master. Indeed. 
And when I left the mountain to visit Mulgore, the wards weakened just enough to let the darkness seep through. The last ward was placed at High Mountain Summit. That is where we must go. Just as Hone stood with his allies, so we must band together. Unfortunately, my recording software has eaten the final quest of the quest chain, so I'm going to have to try and talk you through it. The two quests that you get at the top of High Mountain Summit are Ice and Shadow and Whispers of the Darkness. You're asked to rescue some of the uh, High Mountain Braves uh, from being stunned and to collect ice shards from the mobs up here. Once you've completed those two quests, which are fairly easy to do, uh, you then speak to Ebonhorn and he asks you to do a quest, the final ward. He sends you to walk into a cave where you just fight a couple of mobs and then as you click on the ward, uh, it f basically fails and you're given a new quest, the darkness. Organeth, who is the voice of the old gods, appears on the mountain and I'm sorry I can't show you the model because it's a rather nice one. Uh, he's the final boss that you have to fight for this scenario. Um, he shouts, this mountain belongs to us mortals. You will soon become vessels for this world's true power. And Ebonhorn switches into his dragon form and comes to help you fight him. Abyssian shouts, these heroes do not stand alone. And then you fight uh, the messenger of the old gods. Once you've killed him, uh, then Bane and Mailer and Ebonhorn have a short discussion. I'll read that for you now. Bane says, I did not realise that I had invited a dragon to feast with us at Thunderbluff. Had I known, I might have set a bigger table. Bane sounds rather happy to have met a dragon. Spirit Walker Ebonhorn says, Only Mailer and our champion knew my secret before. Now I entrust it to you as well, Chieftain. Bane. I see no reason for anyone else to know, Spirit Walker. Let it be a matter kept between friends. I think Bane's rather pleased to have another dragon as a friend. Mailer says, Today was a very... Well, today was very nearly a dark day for Azeroth. Had Organeth's plan succeeded, we all would have been made into servants of the old gods, including Ebonhorn. Spirit Walker Ebonhorn says, I shudder at the thought mailer. Without the swift action of Bane and this champion, all would have been lost. Mailer. Bane Bloodhoof, you have demonstrated courage, honour and loyalty. I believe it is time for your people and mine to renew our bond of kinship. If you will have us, the Tauren of High Mountain will be proud to join your horde. Bane. The horde will be honoured to welcome you. Let us travel to Orgrimmar and share the good news with our war chief. And we're given the quest. Together we are the Horde. Return to Orgrimmar and speak with the War Chief at the Orgrimmar Embassy. What began with a simple feast led to a battle against an ancient evil seeking to consume the world. My kind of day. I like Bane. Your deeds have helped secure an alliance between Orgrimmar and High Mountain. These Tauren will make a valuable addition to the Horde. The War Chief will be pleased. And our reward is the High Mountain Thunderhoof mount, so let's go back to Orgrimmar and have a look at the new mount. Now we're back in Orgrimmar. Let's go speak to Sylvanas Windrunner. I trust you will not waste my time. It seems we have secured a new ally. You have done well. 
The high mountain Toran are famed for their prowess in battle. I look forward to the pummeling they will unleash upon the Alliance. The lifeblood of Azeroth belongs to the Horde. I present Chieftain Mela High Mountain. What have you to say, Chieftain? War Chief, the strength and courage of the Horde has been demonstrated by Bane Bloodhoof, as well as your champion. From this day forth, High Mountain vows to stand with you against all foes. I accept your oath of loyalty. The Horde offers its protection, and expects your obedience. For the Horde! For the Horde! For the Horde! For the Horde! Come forward. Now, Sylvanas now wants us to get a second we ally, but before we do that... To its knees. I am Bane, High Chieftain of the Torrent. Before we do that, we you will are here, have a look at the new mount. There it is, High Mountain Thunderhoof. Mounts. High Mountain Thunderhoof. Let's get on the mount and have a look. Oh yes, that's rather nice actually. Love its big horns. Definitely a nice moose. All those nice tribal markings. Oh, very nice, very nice. And that's the end of our video for today. I hope you've enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. From Soft Kitty here, goodbye!